KFX News at 10 starts now. Good evening, I'm Renee Cooper. Thanks for watching KX News. In our top story tonight, protests over the recent death of George Floyd, who died at the hands of a Minneapolis police officer, are continuing all over the world. And today, protesters gathered in Minot to show support, their support for the Black Lives Matter movement. KX News reporter PJ Walker was there. He has the details. Over 300 people showed up to Minot's Oak Park Sunday afternoon to reflect and mourn over the life of George Floyd. I was complaining about how I wanted to go to the cities and I wasn't going to be able to make it, and my friend was like, why don't you just do one here? Bree Nicholson, who organized the Black Lives Matter protest, says the turnout for the event was far more than she expected. She says it shows that the people in the Minot community are able to come together as one. As I've been saying today, we live in this very secluded community where we don't have experience to the rest of the country. And if people aren't paying attention, they're not going to see what's happening going, else, going on everywhere else. Many other people at the protest had signs displaying their thoughts about the current issues in the world. Along with parents and their children at the event, there are also local organizations showing that they stand behind each other and the community in such dark times. Well, being bikers, we are diverse all across the world. Um, we come from all different areas and we have all different beliefs and different views. But what we can do is care about one another. The vice president of the Ice Cold Riders Motorcycle Club says it's important for him to use his voice in the community to help encourage others as well as inform them about issues such as race. Being silently complicit to things like this is not going to work for us. So when people speak out for people who can't speak, it gives people the strength to stand back up. Other speakers at the event shared the same ideas, being the voice for the voiceless and encouraging others to take a stand for such an important issue. I believe in preventing something before it happens. I don't like to react to situations. I like to already prevent them from happening. So it's important for my not to understand that we need to stand together now if we have not. Because if we stand together now, then when those outside influences come in to try to divide us, they can't. Nicholson says she knows it will take more than one protest to change things in America, but Sunday's event was a start. A start to what she hopes is a shift in the way we love and care for one another. Reporting for KX News in Minot, I'm PJ Walker. The protest lasted until about 4 o'clock. There was also a candlelight ceremony in honor of George Floyd. Well, the Minot Police Department released a statement during the protest saying, quote, we would like to ensure the people of Minot that we are also upset by the events that led to the death of George Floyd. The actions and inactions by those officers bring disgrace to the badge that we proudly wear that represents peace and security. Police Chief John Klug added the department stands with the community in today's event in Oak Park, saying, quote, we will not interfere with peaceful assembly or freedom of speech. We hope for a safe environment for all to gather and share their message. And Sam's Club in Bismarck is one of many local